What up people, Bernie back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to react to Ozark. Yes, bitch, we bringing Ozark back. It's been like, how many months since I reacted to Ozark? I still remember, like, what happened or what I saw so far. I only saw the first six episodes, so. I'm going to react to Season 1, Episode 7, Nest Box. And let's see if this starts to kick up, because Ozark has been hella slow for me. Everybody keeps saying how good the show is. Okay. I've only seen the first six episodes. I hope it picks up because it is so slow for me. Let's go. Money is at its essence. They put up a cross. Jesus fuck. I'm going to the Youngs. <laughs> He's stressed out. They put the cross up. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> you know, I was, uh, I told the Snells that, um, you know, I'm, I'm building you that church because, um, you know, because I invest. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> and I told them that I would also invest a very generous sum to their farm. And so, just like anyone, they wanted to talk to a reliable reference. Thank you. We'll get the permits. I know they weren't the about there to hurt them. Honey. What are you doing? You should be in bed. Don't act like you give a shit. Uh, what's going on? Rubbing her stomach. I'm getting into business with Marty here. How much you plan on investing in our little homestead? How much? Oh boy, I don't know. It's uh, just looking for reliable distribution. <laughs> you didn't want to worry. You shouldn't have fucking hit me. You're going to be like... Bitch face. You are better than you think you are. Promise me that you won't try to kill Martin Bird again. Oh. I won't try to kill Martin Bird again. Let her have this one. Let her have this one. It looks like a zombie mermaid pissing the ocean. It's gonna be the first thing someone sees when they walk in. Hi. Sorry to bother you. Are you showing this hospital? No, I'm sorry. Not till Tuesday. Actually, would you happen to have any other property similar to this same price range? Ooh. Why, yes, we do. My wife and I just moved in from Boston last week. If she Boston? Stayed in motel, That's I where I am at. That's Sam. where I am at. Why did you stop being Wendy Bird? Who was he? Excuse me, have we met before? You know, easy just to find information on people nowadays. Who are you? I thought you said you worked from the area. Uh huh. You're in Charlotte, though, right? Who is this guy? Okay, what do you want? A million, Clayton. <gasps> At the end of the summer. Did you just say it's an off season? September 21st. Something's off. You should just accept that our eyes are on you and yours, Miss Bird. Damn. I mean, I, I always want my kids to feel like they can invade their inheritance if it's to further a life's goal. Yeah, but my mom, she lives off that money. Well, not all of it, surely. Do you know how much there is? Or, you know, if she's doing everything she can to maximize returns? I mean, Marty says that. Yeah, Wendy people. being slick. Uh, 906000 You're not going to do anything on this property, period. Yes, I will. No, you are not. Why? Because there is no fucking zoning issue. Oh. The Snells are drug dealers. Yeah, they're running heroin on the water. Oh, he told them. them. Through hymnals that are passed to their dealers from your boat. They're poppy farmers. Their barns are drying houses for poppy gum. They don't want us building a church. They want you on the water every Sunday so they can distribute. Who told you this? You ever notice that your hymn books are two different colors? You ever wonder why that is? The blue ones are hollowed out, they're filled with heroin in heat sealed bags. Ooh, bitch! I wanted to build you a church, honest to God. I had, I had no idea I was disrupting a trafficking ring. You're saying that all my parishioners are, are drug dealers? No, no, I'm not saying. I mean, there, there's no way to know. It's probably just a few of them. Probably just a few of them. Yeah. You're not going to traffic in the name of God. Then start packing. We're not the kind of people who run from something like this. We have a child to worry about that now. God will protect. Bullet was three tenths of an inch from rupturing my aorta, but it went clean through. That is not a coincidence. You don't think it's important to say no to drugs and alcohol? Well, it's just not that simple. 
All of towns are not that simple. They cause crime and death. And they also prop up the U.S. economy. <laughs> oh, quiet. Wait, are you familiar with gross domestic product? It's the total of all the money spent. I know on what here. gross domestic product is. <laughs> I mean, I definitely signed something that says it'd be great if people didn't get addicted to drugs, but people are, and that drug dealer has to feed his family. They're innocent. They can't starve, can they? This kid. They need a house and clothes, and the family needs a car. <laughs> the the teacher's theory, like, you know, when real estate went bust because. Drug money was the only cash available to prop up big banks. Not to mention the 350 million narco dollars. Probably even education. This kid. Maybe even part of this school. John, would you step aside for a minute, please? Look at Barty's face like, that's my son. <laughs> John admit he's right. Economically speaking, it's not easy to hear, but this is not an intellectual exercise. Right? This is a promise not to use drugs or to pressure others. Some of his classmates ripped up their pledges after he spoke. Uh, I assure you that was not his intent. Where's Charlotte? Tell these people where their daughter is. I don't know, honestly. You talk to her in the hall. What the hell is say? I will kick your sorry ditching ass. This is not just about skipping school. <laughs> that she's going to Chicago. I walked her to the station. But that's Chicago? just what she said. I don't know. She has to transfer in St. Louis. I know what you're doing. I'm not here to judge you for it, but I can't participate in it either. Ooh! We're not sure what you're talking about. I know that you've been dealing heroin off of my boat on Sunday mornings in the Blue Hymnal, somewhere between the Psalm and the Sermon. But you're going to have to figure out some other way to traffic your drugs, and it can't be through me. Mm -hmm. Why would Marvin Bird want a church? You ever think about that? He's my launderer, son. He wants to build and build and build and fleet construction costs and run money. <laughs> Check his book, son. Where the fuck is Charlotte? Mom? Oh. Charlotte. You can never do this to me again. Do you understand? I'm sorry. Oh. I want our old life back. In the half hour it took to pick them up and bring them back, the transformer was reconnected. What happened to your face? I got into a fight with a stripper. What's that? Speak up. You look like a whore. You know where the phrase "don't stick your neck out" comes from? Fucking chickens. Stupid <laughs> <Different> chickens. <laughs> Why do you have to be such a constant, twenty-four-seven, nagging, incessant fucking bitch? I've listened to your garbage that you tell me about myself. You never would have survived out of state. Damn. What do you think Morty Bird lives, Mom? What do I care? In Buddy Diker's old house with Wendy Davis. Yeah, that's right, Mom. Surprise, they're married. Oh! Call him. I want those papers back. Oh, and you know what? You're fired. Oh! No! Final destination moment. Walk in the street and bam! Oh no, he's burning the church. She needs to go back to Chicago. Jonah needs to go with her. Hang on a second. Are you trying to teach them your little trick? When shit gets hot, you just pack up and run? Mm. Oh, fuck you, Marty. Marty, look around. This place is death. Let's be honest. Let's do it. Can you do it? Or are you just a deceitful bitch? Wow. Let's have it. You want to go there? Uh. Okay. You have a video on your computer of me. <laughs> That's just a confirmation of exactly who you are. Oh. You've been watching it for months. And you have watched it 27 times, you Marty. Don't want to and see if that you knew, once, if you knew, why didn't you confront me? <laughs> Instead of what pushing all those emotions down, dissing yourself from anything you feel. You, do not change a subject to me because we're talking about you. You came home to this family. You were living a fucking lie. How do you do that? I don't get it. I don't understand how you did that. Explain it to me. You're slapping my ass, Marty. Yep.
my own wife. But I was so confused about what you might like, I ended up doing exactly what your fucking lover did. Stop. That's fucking bullshit. Do you know how many times you could have said no to that guy, Wendy? You could have said no the first drink that he bought you. You could have said no the first goddamn motel room that you booked. Or the first time he stuck his fucking tongue down your throat. Whoa. Or the fucking first time he slapped your ass. Why would I stay no more? You why? Any affection from you? Well, maybe I was trying to protect you. No, I didn't want protection. I wanted you. I wanted you, you idiot. <laughs> Why do you even want me here? Necessity. Necessity. Not desire. Wow. Why didn't you let Del kill me when he had the chance? No, what? What? <laughs> no dry, witty comeback? <laughs> dry. What is this girl doing? Is she trying to drown herself? Oh, Lord. I know she ain't gonna die. Oh, hell no. She gonna get up. Charlotte! Yeah, get up. Damn, she tried to drown herself, though. Alright you guys, so that was my reaction to Ozark Season 1, Episode 7, Nest Box. It's a good episode. So beginning of the episode, Marty basically diffuses the whole situation with the cross being up. He tells the Snells something. I guess he's going to invest or give them some money or something so that they don't do anything to the preacher and his wife. Wendy's still doing her thing, showing properties, working for that realtor guy. Wendy tries to show a house to some guy and he's not even a interested buyer. He's one of those guys that are watching Wendy and uh, Marty and the family. And that freaks Wendy out because she's like, yo, the fuck? They're watching us. They're, they know our kids' names. Wendy convinces that realtor guy that she works with for, his, um, for him to talk to his mom because I guess she has like over $906,000 that Wendy wants to invest on some, some of their shady shit. I'm still trying to follow everything. I guess Marty wants to invest because he's doing this whole money scheme. So Wendy figures something out so that the realtor that she works with gets his mom's money involved. Marty ends up telling the preacher that the Snells are drug dealers. And the preacher's pissed. And he confronts the Snells. And the Snells are like, what do you think Marty's up to? <laughs> the poor preacher. He's surrounded by all this shadiness. And then Marty's son expresses himself at school on what he thinks about drugs and <clears throat> the economy and all this stuff. And the teacher's looking at Marty's son like, what the fuck? Charlotte takes off. She makes an attempt to go back to Chicago, but uh, the mom ends up f finding her at the bus station. Homegirl goes to see her dad at prison. And he's like, don't come back here until you've killed Marty Bird. <laughs> he really wants Marty dead. The realtor that uh, Wendy works with, him and his mom end up getting into an argument and she gets hit by a fucking bus or a truck, Final Destination style. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. And then the episode basically ends with um, Wendy and Marty getting into an argument, you know, over her infidelity. And Charlotte makes an attempt to drown herself in the fucking lake. But she changes her mind. It's like, ooh, I knew she wasn't going to die. But yeah, that was my reaction to Ozark Season 1, Episode 7, Nest, Nest Box. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll try to be better in um, reacting weekly to Ozark, just to get them up. I know I took a long break from Ozark. I'm going to try to get back on it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, share my video. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Bye, guys.